God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Tuesday, October the 6th. Today's devotional is based on Psalm 145, verses 1 to 8. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall laud your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty, and on the wondrous works, I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed, and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness, and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Mark Douglas. Perhaps it is a good thing that praise is not entirely natural. Were it too natural, we might forget the question of what we were doing while offering praise, asking who and why and how and where and when and by whom keeps us alert to meaning, and along the way may train us in the very habits of discernment that we have to rely on if we are to gain a better sense of how God has acted and is acting in the world so that we may offer praise. And Douglas leaves us with this today. Does it matter who does this praising? Should praise be offered only by those who feel they have benefited from God's work? If so, what is the difference between offering praise and offering thanks? Does the act of offering praise help train one in feeling as if she has benefited from God's work? Should those who do not feel like offering praise do so anyway in order to change their attitudes? Let us pray. I both praise you and give you thanks for all that you have done, for all that you are. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wondrous and joyous day ahead of you. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practice social distancing, and wear a mask when you are in public. God bless.